Hi everybody, um, today I am going to do another tack room tour because I reorganized and now everything's in a different spot and hopefully it'll be easier to get to because the way I organized it last time looked good but I couldn't so reach we'll start it. start like we did last time. This is the door and as you come in there is a light switch and a plug-in. This is on a timer so I have an hour until the light cuts off and then I twist it again just have a tiny tiny lever right there which i don't know why i hung up all the brown biothane on this nail because it doesn't get used often <clears throat> this one's just the plain one and it has the connected reins with a six inch walking horse bit which i don't even use on it and then the red and brown with the breast collar is has the um split reins that are like super duper long next as you can see i moved the bridles to this wall because they were right in here and they've been right in there for a, a while now so i decided to move them last night so i have the white and blue biothane set with a um, wonder bit on it and then I have the plain white set. This one is one with the cavison. This one is, it's just got the nose band that attaches. And as well as this one, this one has the cavison. Um, next I have, I'll move these reins so you can see better. Next I have this corally pink, white and coral pink set, the biothane set as well. It currently has a, Myler combo bit on it because my mom wanted to try that on Zeb. So this one, this piece just goes over the nose, and this right here is your bit, and it's jointed and it rolls. Um. Next on this hook, I just have the <coughs> biothane, or this is more beta. This is the beta biothane. This is beta um breast collar, and then I have this just leather english bridle with the web reins which i just replaced the the throat latch on because fancy broke it this summer <laughs> so next on this hook i have a lot of different bridles firstly i have my endurance bridle which is the white and orange bio thing next i have well yeah i have the jean vance set which is the breast collar and the bridle set it's got split reins. Um, it's really pretty. I love it. It needs to be cleaned. It's really nice leather. The man hand makes some. Next, underneath all of here, I have a set of white biothane reins. And then I have my overcheck that I use on Denver. Well, I used to use on Denver. I don't really use it often. But it's just got an extra bit that you put in with his other bit. And I didn't mention, but this is a Grimace and Flex bit. It's just like a little mom and pop company that makes them. And they work really well with gated horses. And a lot of people love them. I know a lot of people don't like chain bits, but if they work, they work. So next on this hook right here, I have a Smart Cinch and just a blue um, string cinch. I don't think it's really mohair. Um, step back for a second on he here i have this shelf container and i just put it this way instead of having it horizontal i figured it would take up less space that way and i could still reach things so up here on top i have my standing wraps the little cottons that you put underneath the wraps um i have my grooming bag right here which is really old i need to get a new one but uh it can get put off a little bit longer um next i have this this is a you don't know what this this is a stethoscope i can't even say it but these are the treats that i have at the moment they're my favorite i think because they're low sugar and horses don't need that much sugar honestly in their diet and a lot of treats are sugary for anybody 
So then I have two stud chains that I don't use unless I go somewhere. And then I have this cute little thing that I got from the Dollar Tree, which it works really well when trailering or if you don't have power at your tack house. You just flip it on. And it's actually really bright. It doesn't look that bright under the camera, but it is. Mm. So next we have all my um, hoof stuff, like hoof um, gels and sprays and stuff. And then I have my wound care. So um i guess we can go through this whole thing this is a little bitty thing from amazon it's called proud flesh off or proud off this is butte um peroxide hoof magic tough stuff neosporin uh this is like vetrolin this is Vaseline mixed with cayenne pepper because it keeps the mule when he was young he would chew the horse's manes off and then I have SWAT um, this is poultice I have horseshoer secret back here some antiseptic solution some cayenne pepper caro syrup back there there is honey with the comb honey just store bought this is gall salve back here is just some thrush bust thrush killer by cowboy magic some vetulin this is gel vetulin right here this is liniment this is some new stuff that i bought for denver and I'll show you. It's Body God, which keeps him from um, galling when I ride him because he's got really sensitive skin. And I think it's originally made for like bikers and runners. And you just put it on your legs or you put it on wherever. <clears throat> and it keeps you from chafing. Which I thought was really cool. Just move this stuff out of the way and I'll put it back in a minute. <clears throat> Next, I have all of my bell boots. I have a zillion bell boots. Um, I have the classic equine in the size large. Um, these are Weaver in the size large. These are like five dollar centaur bell boots. I don't know the name brand of these; are kind of junk. But and then I have blue Davis bell boots, a million white pairs of Davis bell boots. And then I have this pair of black, a pair of black glitter ones, which I really like those. Next, I keep all of my hoof care, not hoof care, leg protection right here, which I have um, the set of four size small uh, sport boots. These are the Ventec ones. This is a set of two polos, a set of four, set of four. These are the size medium Ventec ones. These are black with the glitter, which is why I got the bell boots to match. And then I have a size medium splint boots. <clears throat> Next, I'll start up here. This is my Simico 1971 15 inch saddle with the tapaderos and the little diamonds all over it. It's a very comfortable saddle, very well made. <clears throat> the cinch is actually pretty interesting. You don't see many made. Oh, no, I'll show you. You don't see many Western saddles really made like that. I find it really interesting, but it's pretty hard to cinch up then. <laughs> Next, I have my Hillis and Treeless, which... I have not used since my last night truck ride because it's gotten cold and if I wear coveralls, I, the seat's so small, if I wear coveralls, I can't fit. It is a 16 inch, but it's not really because the seat sits so close right here. Where, do you see how close this is? Like, it's about that much. And then the Simico is only a 15 inch and you got that much more clearance. That's why. So next, this is, 
excuse me. Next, this is my mom's trooper saddle. It's a uh, by JM, whatever that is. Next, this is a saddle. This is um, this is an Orthflex saddle with the little fuzzies on it. <coughs> you have to forgive me. <clears throat> and this is one of my favorite saddles. I think I got this one for my birthday a couple years ago. This is the Dakota saddle in a 16 inch. It's very, very comfortable. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Underneath the trooper saddle, I have a bunch of stuff that I don't ever use, so that's why it's stuck under here because it's hard to get to. There are um, buckets with a bunch of lids, some a jug of oil. These are hoof boots in the back of that thing. <laughs> then underneath the rest of the saddles, I have a bighorn endurance saddle, some farrier stuff, and some signs. These are just extra buckets. I have a saddle stand right here that isn't being used. And then I have a nylon harness set. <coughs> That's actually my neighbor's. <clears throat> Next, I have all of my blankets. I just put up nails yesterday for them. This one is a size 78. I'm not sure what brand. This one's a 74. It's made by Saxton. This one is a 72 made by Saxton. This is just, these three are medium weights. This is just a rain sheet made by Tough One. Um, this one's just a, a sheet. I don't remember what it's made by. This one is a medium weight um, turnout blanket. Um, it's a size 68. And then I have all my coolers and a fly sheet. And then I have my... <clears throat> I have my quarter sheet right there. Then I have this muck bucket, which is what I'm going to start using for um, manure and stuff when I go on rides. But right now, she's holding all my bags and containers. It's got a bunch of these fill containers, some bags, <clears throat> and then this little thing. Then I just have my stool so I can reach the... The shelf upstairs, not upstairs, the shelf up, up, I'll show you, look. I have um, saddle bags right here. This is a Halloween costume for nephew. <clears throat> That's a pad liner. <coughs> and those are more saddle bags. Saddle bags, chalk paint, Listerine mix, a helmet, a pad liner. <clears throat> Next, I have saddle pads on this wooden saddle stand right here. I have a... Gel impact pad. This is a professional's choice pad. A tic tac pad, which is really just waffle material. A saddle right pad, which I use this. I use this one for my treeless saddle. This is a Christ pad, which is like the wool back. Wool. <clears throat> this is a polka pad. This one's made by Albeda. This one. It's just a pony pad I'm trying to sell. And lastly, this is just like a regular uh, uh, Confederate flag. These are the booties that go on the Orthoplex. But we don't use. Next, we'll start off over here. I have some extra spurs that I never wear. Some reins. A bunch of half chaps. Dressage girths, stirrup leathers, and irons. I got these off Amazon. Not Amazon. I got them off eBay. I got them off eBay. And these are some really nice leathers. Next up here, I have a mohair cinch, which is Western, and a sponge. Then I have my oatmeal soap, uh, my leather new, some liniment in that. Some roll-on fly spray. This is just a bottle of Dawn and Water. This is my detangler. This is the Cowboy Magic uh, green spot remover. <clears throat> Here are some more dressage girths. <clears throat> and then just like an all-purpose girth. Here's where I keep my helmets, my um, saddle cleaning supplies, and then I have my snack right there. Um, I have two crops. A hammer. Here's my cat. Kitty kitty. 
And then I have a Smart Pack water insulator. Those are just some vitamin, vitamin hygiene things. That is some electrolytes. <clears throat> Here I have extra grooming supplies, a sponge, extra saddle stuff that I take with me to rides. I dropped y'all on the floor. I'm so sorry. And then I have some wasp stuff. And I have a cat walking in my stuff. I have a shop vac- er, not vacuum. <laughs> Broom. And then these are all my clippers. <clears throat> Back here, I have a Billy Cook breast collar that needs to be cleaned. This is actually a double T bridle, which, oh well, it's just a bridle. It's not like it's a saddle. And then I have some really nice leather reins. Over here, I have my cob size English bridle that like never gets used. Uh, a crupper and a breast collar. Some more stirrup leathers and irons and then some hay bags. This is a running martingale, two tie downs <clears throat> and a part of a head stall and then one split rein. Next I have this little container that I think came from Walmart and in it I have a some I have a screwdriver, some pins, a sharpie, a knife, pliers, a hoof knife, then I have a bunch of zip ties and a water hose attachment. In here I have nails and thread and clips. This is just like a toothbrush and toothpaste to wash, to clean my bits with. This is a brow band that broke and some screws. And there's nothing in that one. So this is just a running joke with a friend of mine. He bought it for Nephi for his birthday. So this is just kind of a junk drawer. It's got duct tape and Mueller's tape, ribbon, and a lighter, and a faucet bag, and then a mini sweat scraper. In here is um, mainly electrolytes and hardware for stuff. This is like a tie that you drill. Here's some aspirin, some, this goes on electric waterer, like an extra. This is a curve chain, and then I've got all kinds of stuff here. <clears throat> In here, I have a little, I have two little rope halters, some more duct tape, which can go in this drawer. And then I have some SOS pads and all my fly bonnets. Down here, I kind of have like seasonal stuff, which is like my gloves and these winter helmet covers. And these are just Halloween costumes. Like they attach to the fly sheet. Down here, I have fly, mask, rope, washcloths, this tail thing, and then some little mini saws. Next, these are all my saddle pieces. Like, these attach to a western saddle to make it into English rigging on it, which are really interesting. This is a flash that came off my cob size bridle. Some latigos and some off billets. And then in this drawer, I have all of my bits and hackamores, everything like that. Lastly, I have these two saddle stands right here because I couldn't get the third one here. And then I have a broom and a dishwasher whip. That's it. Thank you.